Good morning, good morning. Welcome to Big Old Blog for Diabetics. I want to share another breakfast with you this morning. Now, the kind of breakfast I'm eating these days, you might not want to eat it. You might say, eh, mm, can't eat that. But you know what? I say the same thing. But then I think about my health. I think about the amount of people who have diabetes and pre-diabetics in this world. It's unbelievable. In the U.S. alone, there's over 88 million pre-diabetics and over 35 that type 2. And we're not talking about type 1. And more people dying from diabetes than you can imagine. So the food that we eat that causes so much insulin to produce in our body, because insulin is the problem, right? But you produce so much insulin, trying to manage the amount of sugar you're putting in, and two things will happen. You're going to gain weight, and you're going to have high blood sugar, blood glucose, if you don't make some adjustment. So even though some of these food may look tough to eat, you have to be up, I have to decide, me personally, I decide, do I want to live and enjoy life? Or do I want to eat food that looks good and tastes good? Do I want to eat my pancakes and my syrups and my French toast? And that's what I really love. That's what I eat all my life, you know? But I have to make that choice. And you have to make that choice too when you're eating. And you have to say, the food had to taste good to enjoy life. You have to, it's in your mind. You have to make the food taste good. Because uh, I learned that. This food I would, not, I would not eat most of the time. Because I, I eat bacon, sausage, pancakes, grits. Orange juice. That's what I really like to eat. With some eggs. Tastes really good. But then I, it's not good for me. So some of it is good. I can pick it out and put it with other things. But the bottom line, I have to go to food that I know is not going to spike my blood sugar. It's not going to cause my body to produce a whole stack of insulin. And store a bunch of fat. And if I want to keep my weight down to 176 where I'm at right now, I have to keep eating like this. So I will show you the food several times. Some of the food might be seen over and over again with other food because it's combination food I'm eating. But the reason you see them all the time is because they are perfect part of my health the eating diet. Right? So I make my breakfast with a little black pepper, a little salt, not too much. And to this morning, I'm going to eat, I'm going to have eggplants, green bitter melon, and sardines. And none of these is going to spike my blood sugar. None of these are going to cause my body to produce many insulin. And they're also good for cholesterol. And they're good for high blood pressure. So when you get to my stage in life where you're eating so that you can live, you can't say, I hate that food. I can't eat this food. I don't like this food. I mean, you can say it if you want to. But it's a choice you're making. Like everything else in life, we always make choices, right? Life is choices, you know. And sometimes we have to get mind, better mind control and more power over our desires, more power over ourselves, synchronize our bodies so we can make solid, good quality decisions. And I have learned in my life, success comes from making good quality decisions. No, there's always an outlier. Some people might not make good decisions and they suck. I know somebody who, yeah, but that's my, that's always a, a small amount of people. But for the majority of us, the bad decisions we make is why we suffer. Sometimes circumstance causes it too, but it's a, everything is a percentage, right? Everything is a percent. Nothing is a hundred percent. So we take responsibility. So let's, let's say we take responsibility for 80%, 80 20 rule, okay? 80% we, and 20% we have no control over. But with eating, if God bless us where we have the money to buy something to eat, we could pick and choose what we eat. And that's what I do. So this food is something I would have never liked before. But now it's been working great for me. I love it. So I'm sharing it and I'm encouraging the eating of this type of food. Because if you're, if you're pre-diabetic, it's not long before you become full type 2 diabetic. And I've been able to reverse my type 2 diabetic diabetes by eating like this. So this morning... I'm starting off from my, from my fasting blood sugar from last night. It's pretty good, right? So I am, um, I'm going to get my log here and put out my thing I did this morning. So this morning I'm starting at 99. My fasting blood sugar is 99. Okay. 
usually uh, usually it's between 85 and 90, 85 and 100 these days. Before it used to be 145 and higher. You see, so I was able to reverse that by eating properly, making good decisions. Now it's not always easy to make a decision, but we gotta take some sense of responsibility for what we do with ourselves and our lives. And that's what I try to do, okay? No, I'm not saying anybody should do that, people are not taking responsibility. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that I have discovered that when I take responsibility for anything and in in part of my life, I take at least 80% responsibility, I tend to do well with it. I tend to succeed with it. And I, and I take this from all, all aspects of my life to my food and to my health. And I was very responsible for 56, 57 years. And, and, I, and I, I suffered the consequences of that irresponsibility. I knew better, but I didn't do it. So I'm not preaching, but the um, whole idea of my video is to share my, my, my pain, my hurt, my suffering and my success. And that's how I feel when I eat every day. When I think about other people suffering with diabetes and pre-diabetic, is that we just doesn't want to make the choice to eat right. And I'm making that choice. And I'm calling, holding myself accountable making these videos. Because if I'm making these videos, I must do it. Because believe me, I do get tempted to stray away. But I'm accountable now to you guys. So I can't stray away. You see? That's the thing. And I don't plan what I'm going to say to you. I just talk from my heart how I feel that day when I eat. Because every time I take up my food, I get an emotional feeling. I get an emotional feeling every time I take up to eat, whether it's lunch, breakfast, dinner, whatever. Because I think about it. How is it going to affect me? It's going to help me to live to 90, 100? Or it's going to kill me? No, I could die anytime for anything. I know that. I'm aware of that. But as long as, I'm, as long as I have the power every day to make choices, I can help myself as much as I can. And things I have no control over, guess what? I have no control over it. So if I die from something else, fine. What can I do? Nothing. I wouldn't even know. So well, what I know, I will do, right? So check my breakfast out. All right. So this morning, you see, it's sardines, it's sardines, eggplant, and the bitter melon. And these are, look up, these are all good for you. Sardines are good for you, omega-3 and so on. The eggplant is good. And also, they're very nutritious. So what's going to happen, they're going to help me to sustain my day with good nutrition. And I'm going to be able to fast longer during the day. So I can, I can sustain my blood sugar level low until later on this evening I eat. I may eat once more for the day. You see? But if I don't eat like this, I don't have the nutrition in my body to have a good fast. You see? So, this morning is an emotional. I felt, just felt a little emotional this morning like, you know, I hate this food. But I like it. I hate it because I'm, I can't eat my other food. But I like it because I, I can make it taste good and I know what it's doing to my body. And I feel happy, and I feel happy, and I want to cry because the joy I get from knowing that at least I made the decision to eat good, healthy meals. No, there may be other things I can eat I don't know about, but if you know, you can tell me, and I will try them. If you have tried something or eat something that doesn't really spike your insulin, doesn't raise your blood sugar, let me know so I can try it in my breakfast. Because I'm willing to eat anything in breakfast or lunch or dinner that's going to help me to sustain and extend my life and keep me healthy and don't feel the weakness I was feeling before, the pain in my hand, the tingling in my shoulders, the tingling in my toes, the, the clouds in my eyes, all I was going through. Now I'm clear of all of that. So I could get emotional when I talk about this stuff. You know, it's simple breakfast, but I could talk for 10, 15, 20 minutes on this, you know, because I love it and I, and, I, and I feel it's very important, right? So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my breakfast and I'm going to come back about an hour and a half and show you that this breakfast is a good breakfast. I hope I'm not wrong because I had some of these before in different combinations so I kind of know what it would do. But this exact combination is always different. The exact combination is always different so I can't guarantee it will be good. But I think it will be. But if it's not, you will find out in an hour and a half, right? So come back and do the best you can. You know, try to take some responsibility. Try to eat better. Try your best. To, 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 and the fasting helps you build, build discipline. So when you build discipline, then you're able to say no to eating and once you can say no to eating, you can say no to other things also. That's what I find with me. It, it gives me discipline. All right. So thank you. I'll be back in an hour and a half. Okay. Love you guys.